the blue peacock's body feathers are mostly metallic blue. Hens of both species are green and brown and are almost as big as the male, but lack the train and the head ornament. In the wild, both species live in open lowland forests, flocking by day and roosting high in trees at night. During the breeding season, the male forms a harem of two to five hens, each of which lays four to eight whitish eggs in a depression in the ground. The eggs are incubated by the peahen until they hatch some 28 days later. The chicks have all of their feathers when they emerge from their eggs and are capable of flight roughly one week after hatching. Most blue and green peafowl become sexually mature at age 3. However, some male blue peafowl have been known to breed as early as age 2. The peacock is a staple resident of many of the world's zoos and has long been famous throughout the old world. Green peacocks in captivity must be kept apart from other fowl, though, because of their aggressive disposition. Green peacocks, however, cannot tolerate much cold. The Congo peacock is the only large phasianid in Africa. The cock is mainly blue and green with a short rounded tail. The hen is reddish and green with a brown top knot. The species is smaller than those in genus Parvo, growing to roughly between 64 and 70 centimeters, 25 to 28 inches, in length by adulthood. Male and female peafowl are drastically different in appearance. Peacocks are extravagant birds, with iridescent blue necks, and bright green tail feathers dotted with eye spots. Peahens are dull brown, with iridescent green necks and cream-colored heads. Both peacocks and peahens have tufts of feathers crested out of their heads. Males, with their long tail, are about 7.5 feet long. Peafowl are breathtaking birds, and their ornate feathers are truly one of a kind. As if peacocks didn't already sport brightly colored raiment, humans have selectively bred a number of different color mutations.